Hello everyone, welcome to Circuit Analysis 1, ELEC 1100. We're going to cover parallel resistance in this short summary here. We're going to learn about parallel circuits Kirk, and um, finding current, voltage, resistance, and power in this little spiel. Parallel. What does that mean? When two elements, branches, or circuits are in parallel, they have two points in common. And that refers to these blue lines here. Those have two points in common. R1 and R2 have two points in common, the blue lines. Same here. R1 and R2 have A and B in common. These are in parallel and it's in series with R3. <clears throat> Here's the two common lines. R1 and R2 are in series with each other, but are in parallel with R3. These three circuits are exactly the same. They're just drawn differently. So don't be thrown off like that. Two points in a circuit or parallel branch has two points in common. <clears throat> How do you determine the total resistance of the circuit? Take 1 over RT which is total resistance equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus however many you have you continue doing that. And remember that 1 over R, 1 over the resistance is actually conductance and that's in Siemens. So let's look at this circuit right here. What's the total resistance? <clears throat> Algebraically moving that 1 over RT to just RT we find it's this formula, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, and however many there are, over 1. Let's do an example. This example here is two resistors in parallel, 3 and 6. So RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, oh, all over 1, that's 2 ohms. Here we have three resistors in parallel. Notice they have two places in common, just like this one. Use the same formula, RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. I plug my values in. Notice that the denominator has all the values in conductance or Siemens. And when I'm done, I do 1 over 0 0.506 Siemens and I get 1.98 ohms. One thing to take note is when you have something in parallel, resistors in parallel, the total value will always be less than the smallest value. So 2 is less than 3. The total value here is 1.98. It's less than 2. <clears throat> if you have a circuit that doesn't look pretty like that, you can rearrange it to make it look better. Notice we have 1, 4, and 5 ohms. Same thing here. We just redrew it. And to solve for that, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5, all over 1, equals 0.69 ohms. That's the total resistance to that circuit. You can use this formula for special cases when there's uh, only two resistors in parallel and predominantly that's the case. <clears throat> so you have two resistors in parallel, you multiply the, the numerator and you add the denominator and you divide the, the two. That is determined by this derivation that's in your textbook. They started off with 1 over RT and they found a common denominator and rearranged algebraically to find RT. Let's use that formula in this example. We have three resistors in parallel, 1 ohm, 4 ohm, and 5 ohm. The total resistance, I'm using this formula, 1, R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2, I get 0.8 ohms for these two in parallel. Then I use this R prime as a temporary result for these two, times R3 over RT prime plus R3, and I get 0.69 ohms. Notice again, this value is less than any one of these resistors. Let's summarize what we've learned so far. In a parallel circuit, we have two places in common. One thing we have to realize is that the voltage across here is the same. So 12 volts, here's the source, it equals V1 equals V2. So R1 has 12 volts across it, so does R2.
The current through each component can be summed to determine the total source current. So we have the source current or the total current reaches this node, breaks up into two places. So IS equals I1 plus I2. The total or source current is equal to the source voltage divided by the total resistance. So another way to find the source current or the total current is to find the total resistance and that is found by R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 and divide that by E which is the source voltage. Here's an analogy of a parallel circuit. We have the charges coming in here with a big pipe and it breaks off into two pipes. One's bigger than the other and then it com combines into that same amount of charges at the output. The input equals the output here in current. This is a fat pipe and the reason why is because that's a lower resistance. This is a skinnier pipe because that's a higher resistance to current flow. That's a good analogy. So for a parallel, for a single source parallel networks, the source current is always equal to the sum of the individual voltages. So IT or IS, the source current or the total current, entering this node equals I1 plus I2. So in a parallel circuit, the voltage also is the same across all these components. If I were to put the source voltage here, it would be the same across R1 as it is across R2. That's different in a series circuit. In a series circuit, we have one component after another. We have a voltage drop here, V1 plus V2 equals E. And the, the source current is the same throughout both components. Let's do an example. I have 27 volts in parallel with 9 ohms and 18 ohms. Let's find the total resistance. The total resistance here is 9 times 18 over 9 plus 18. And that gives me 6 ohms. It is less than either one of these, so I believe this is a, a good approach. Now I want to find the source current. Source current equals the, the source voltage divided by the total resistance. And I have 27 divided by 6, and I get 4.5 amps. If I want to find I1, since I know the voltage is the same across both of those resistors, I know that V1 is equal to E, and so is V2 is equal to E. So I can use Ohm's Law. I can use E or V1 over R1, and I get 3 amperes coming down here. And I can do the same here. 27 divided by 18 gives me 1.5. I add those, and I get 4.5. So either way it would work if I found the individual currents and the, uh, the total current uh, doing, using this method. Both will give me the same result, and that's a good check. That's all for today. For homework, do these problems, 1, 4, 5, and 13. Have a great day.